Hello, I'm doing a movie review, and the movie I want to review is Jaws 5 Cruel Jaws. Now, Jaws 5 Cruel Jaws is a 1995 Italian made-for-TV movie which was sold as Jaws 5, but this is not actually a sequel to the Jaws franchise. Like, it was sold as Jaws 5, but really the official title for this movie is Cruel Jaws, and this is really more of a rip-off of Jaws that just happened to slap the title Jaws 5 on it. Now, this is not the only Italian film to claim to be a sequel to another film when it really isn't. Like, Italian films do that a lot, where they slap a title onto it claiming to be a sequel to another film. Like, I know before James Cameron's Aliens, which is the official sequel to Alien, there was a film called Alien 2 on Earth, which, once again, was not really a sequel to Alien, but it was sold as a sequel to Alien. And even the Lucio Fulci movie Zombie was actually released in Italy as Zombie 2 because Dawn of the Dead was released in Italy under the title Zombie, so Lucio Fulci's film was sold as a sequel to Dawn of the Dead, even though it actually isn't. And you had the same thing with the Demons movies, like, there were actually a couple of different movies that have alternate titles that are Demons 3. Like, you have the Lamberto Bava film The Ogre, which one of the alternate titles for that is Demons 3. And there's also a film called Black Demons, which also is known in some places as Demons 3. Now, in my opinion, the movie The Church is the only official Demons 3, but you have several different movies that go under the title Demons 3. And Bruno Mattai, the director of this movie, also directed a film called Shock in Dark, which goes by the alternate title Terminator 2, and it actually came out before James Cameron's Terminator 2. Now, I've actually never seen Shock in Dark, but from what I've heard of that movie, I heard that film is actually more of a ripoff of Aliens than it is of The Terminator. So the point I'm trying to make is there are a lot of Italian films that claim to be sequels to films that they're not actually sequels to, and it's kind of the same deal with this film. This is not an official sequel to Jaws, it's really a ripoff of Jaws that just happened to slap the title Jaws 5 on it, but since I reviewed the first four Jaws films, I decided to review this film really for shits and giggles. Now, besides this movie, I've only seen two other Bruno Mattai movies. I've seen the movie The Other Hell, and I've seen Zombie 3, which Bruno Mattai co-directed with Lucio Fulci, but those are the only two Bruno Mattai films I've actually seen. Now, I'm a huge fan of internet movie critic Brad Jones, who most people would know as the cinema snob, and I know Brad Jones is a huge fan of Bruno Mattai, and on his website he used to have a show called the Bruno Mattai Show, where him and his friends would, like, get drunk and talk about different Bruno Mattai movies. Um, unfortunately, he hasn't done that show in a long time, but... Like, I know uh, Brad Jones, the cinema snob, is a really big fan of Bruno Mattai. But once again, besides this movie, I've only seen two other Bruno Mattai films. Now, the film is considered to be a rip-off of Jaws, but honestly, though, there are a lot of points in this movie where it almost borders on being more of a loose remake of the first Jaws film. And there are actually lines of dialogue in this movie which are taken almost word for word from the original Jaws. Obviously changed a little bit, but like, in the film there's a character who's a shark expert and he says a lot of the same lines that Matt Hooper said in the original film. Now, Jaws 5 Cruel Jaws 
is a pretty bad movie, but I would say it's bad in a fun way. Like, this is a really fun movie. It's a fun, enjoyable film, but it is a bad film. It has a really crappy story, really crappy acting, and most of the characters in the film you could honestly give a shit about. So, it's a really bad film. But it's bad in a fun way. Now, the basic plotline of Cruel Jaws is it's about a tiger shark which is attacking swimmers in the waters by this beach town. And in the film, it follows the owner of this aquarium who is now being threatened by the sleazy owner of this hotel chain who is trying to buy up the land that this guy's aquarium is on so he can build on it and there's kind of a feud going on between these two characters and their families and you find out later on in the film that this owner of the hotel chain also has ties with the mafia. And this guy who owns this hotel chain is setting up this, like, uh, windsurfing competition, but people are telling him that he has to cancel it because there's a shark in the water, but he doesn't listen, and this character is very loosely based on the character of the mayor from the original Jaws. And in the film, there's also kind of a subplot about how this guy's daughter is in love with the son of the guy who owns the aquarium, and this guy who owns the aquarium also has a wheelchair-bound daughter, and, like, a lot of the film gets gets involved with these characters and stuff like that. But yeah, once again, Jaws 5 Cruel Jaws is a pretty bad yet entertaining movie. Like, I would definitely recommend this film if you're into, like, uh, those cheesy Italian horror films like Troll 2 or something along those lines. Although, personally, I recommend this movie more than Troll 2. I mean, don't get me wrong, Troll, Troll 2 is entertaining, but to me, this is a better film than Troll 2, and that really isn't saying much. Now, in this film, when you see the shark, most of it is actually stock footage taken from other shark movies, which is hilarious because every time you see the shark, it's a different shark, and you can clearly tell because the shark looks so physically different, like, in the stock footage compared to when you see the shark and, it's act and it was actually supposed to be shot for the movie. Like, the shark looks physically different in almost every shot he's in because it's all stock footage taken from other shark movies. And what's funny about this movie is this movie actually rips off whole scenes, not just from the original Jaws, but also from some of the Jaws sequels as well. Like, there's a complete ripoff of a scene from Jaws 3 in this movie, and there's also a ripoff of a scene from Jaws 2 in this movie. And there are also points in this movie where they use music which, I shit you not, sounds suspiciously like the Star Wars theme music. Like, literally, like, at towards the end of the movie, when the characters are going out on their boats to try to hunt down and kill this shark, they're literally playing the Star Wars theme music, just changed ever so slightly. Somebody should have told Bruno Mattai that he was using the, the wrong John Williams score. But yeah, Jaws 5 Cruel Jaws, it's cheesy, but it is fun, so I recommend it if you're in the mood for a good laugh. But yeah, that's my review on Jaws 5, and this ends my series of reviews on the Jaws films. The next horror franchise that I'm going to review is actually Dario Argento Three Mothers trilogy, so my next movie review will be Dario Argento's Suspiria.